Respiratory therapists are among the most sought after medical professionals across the country. That's right. Right now, at least, KCAU 9 News reporter Mallory Smith explaining how the shortage is affecting Siouxland hospitals and what's behind the shortage in our top story at 6. The increase in COVID-19 patients is making it difficult for respiratory therapists to treat each patient. There simply aren't enough to go around. It's very difficult when there's a shortage of respiratory therapists because we've been the frontline heroes in this whole um, uh, treatment of uh, the coronavirus, the COVID-19. Duncan is the respiratory care program director at St. Luke's College. It's the only respiratory therapy program in Siouxland. She says the rigorous training required to become a respiratory therapist and the job itself limit the numbers. They're putting in lots of hours and it's not just regular hours, they're, they're very intensive hours because these patients take a lot of work and you know it's um, mentally and physically exhausting. Maria Tinajero is a respiratory therapist student at St. Luke's College. She says she is ready for the challenge. It's been a really good experience. We actually practice in here in this room. Uh, we practice on each other before we go into the hospital setting and do it on actual patients. So that's been really helpful for me. I'm more of a um, hands-on training. I love to do that on, to see that and do it myself. That hands-on training is what's required to become a licensed respiratory therapist. Well, you know, they think it's a nurse or a doctor's um, job to do those things where it's actually respiratory therapists. So we specialize in the heart and the lungs. If they go into respiratory failure, it's a respiratory therapist who helps to manage the ventilator. While the number of respiratory therapists is expected to grow next year, Duncan says it's not likely to be enough to keep up with the growing number of COVID cases. Mallory Smith, KCAU 9 News.